All right, let's talk about the weather right now. Talk about uh, City Fest. Let's talk about Marcus Bagwell. Marcus, what's going on? Neil, it is going to be a great evening. So they just did the national anthem here just a moment ago, and it is going to be a really great night. They are about to get ready to start with the wonderful festivities. We uh, saw some horses and, of course, the bulls a bit earlier. There are many people that are here. They're offering free barbecue also. This is going to be a really tremendous evening. This is all part of City Fest, and their goal with City Fest is to help share the gospel across the Tyler area, and the festivities for City Fest will be on Saturday. Saturday and Sunday, both days in the afternoon on downtown Tyler in the square. So you definitely want to come out and enjoy it. There's going to be a lot of events going on, and we'll hear from some incredible musicians. Some bands are coming in town, like the Newsboys. Uh, we'll also have our own Neil McCoy from East Texas. He'll be uh, playing as well this upcoming weekend. And, of course, we'll hear from Andrew Palau a little bit later on. He'll be here tonight, and he's also speaking uh, this upcoming weekend. Let's look at the weather because we do have storm chances that are on the way for us here tomorrow. First of all, we had a hot day today. 96 was the high in Tyler, which ties the record going back to 1977. There have been multiple records set, not just here for Tyler, but across the deep south over the last several afternoons with the very warm conditions. Right now, we're down into the lower 90s and even a few areas now, like in deep east Texas, into the upper 80s. So overall, a warm evening is happening for us here at this time. I do want to fast forward, though, and let's look at tomorrow with Futurecast because we haven't seen a widespread storm chance in a little while, and I want to spend some time talking about this. This is at about 10 a.m. for us on our Thursday. You'll notice that front starting to work its way in south of the Red River, and as that front gets closer to us, daytime heating is going to trigger some showers and thunderstorms into the afternoon. This is three or excuse me, 1 o'clock showing that we have some areas of moderate, even some heavier rainfall that could occur. Now, not everybody's going to see the storms, and it's still going to be a hot day tomorrow with temperatures in the lower 90s for us. But once we see a few of these storms, your temperatures will begin to cool down just a little bit more. I'll show you what, what it looks like Thursday evening. You'll notice here still a few storms around. They won't be letting up until after about sunset or so. Now, we're not expecting widespread severe weather, but an isolated strong thunderstorm is possible. So look at the storm threats for tomorrow. Lightning is going to be a primary concern along with a brief period of heavy rain. Damaging wind gusts cannot be ruled out either, and it's a very low probability to see hail or tornadoes. We're not expecting that tomorrow. This is more so garden variety thunderstorms, but some of them could produce some gusty winds because of all of this moisture that's able to rise up into those storms for tomorrow. Seven-day forecast, 93 is the high tomorrow. We're still looking at some rain chances on Friday. Could linger into the early part of Friday football fever. Saturday for now, most areas should be dry, but look at Sunday and Monday. We're tracking our next front Sunday night in the Monday morning, and that temperature takes a big drop from 92 on Sunday to 78 as we get toward Monday and the overnight lows down into the 50s. Deep East Texas also in line for the cooler weather. We're just all waiting for it until it can arrive early next week. So a great evening is up ahead. Many people are here. It is going to be a fun night. You can still come on out. This goes until 9 o'clock, Neil.